What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Edge. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to use audio with HTML5. I'm going to use Dreamweaver for my editor because in Edge they don't have a feature for audio. So we're going to have to do this manually. So in the body I'm going to type in the coding for the audio. And we're going to start off with the audio controls. Now you don't have to have these but I'm going to start off and leave them in. And then if we want to later on we can take them out. So we're going to start off and have the audio auto play. And next I'm just going to put the source for the actual files. And I have two files. So one is an OGG file. And if you're not familiar with OGG, this is a type of file that they say is, I guess, the best quality for HTML5. And they also say um, it helps with the cross-browser issues that you might have with HTML5. So just remember, this is all a work in progress. And when we have to do things like this, we just have to make sure that everyone will get access to the media that you know we're publishing so here I'm just putting the source for the mp3 and it's in the music folder and it's called music.mp3 and the type is audio mpeg and next I'm just going to put a message here they recommend this just in case somebody um, cannot get the audio. So now I'm going to press F12 to test this. And we have the music working. And over here are the controls. This will show you the time and you can play it. Now if you don't want the controls and you just want this to autoplay, there's a way we can be doing that and we can actually just remove the controls and let the audio play. I'm going to press F12 and you'll hear the music without the controls. So you can do it that way. And if you want the audio not to autoplay, all we have to do is remove that and press F12 to test it. And now if you want to, you press play and you'll have to use the control the audio that way. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is just save this and then I'm gonna come back over here to Edge and go File Open, open up my Edge document and you see over here there's the audio. Now I know a lot of people are going to be asking me how to control this and do all sorts of things with the player. I was able to actually adjust the opacity for the player and then add another keyframe and increase it. Control enter to test this. And it does work. Like I said before, Adobe doesn't have audio or video available for Edge, but hopefully that comes in the future. This is just a preview. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.